Story for today is the pudding contest. Basic English. The country fair has a pudding contest one year. Three judges gather to decide the winner between the top two puddings. One is a well-made milk pudding which is gold in the middle with a caramel top. The other is a simple vanilla pudding in a small glass bowl. Two of the judges point to the milk pudding. They are impressed by the look of it. The vanilla pudding looks boring to them. They dismiss it. But the third judge, who is a fat man with a big mustache, walks up to the puddings and tastes both of them. The first pudding tastes awful, but the simple vanilla pudding is delicious. The third judge tells the other two to try the vanilla pudding. They do so, and quickly decide that the vanilla pudding is the winner. Intermediate English. The country fair had a pudding contest one year. Three judges gathered to decide the winner between the top two contest entrants. One was a perfect looking milk pudding which was gold in the middle with a caramel colored top. The other was a boring looking vanilla pudding in a simple glass bowl. Two of the judges are attracted to the milk pudding right away. They think it looks just right, while the vanilla pudding seems dull and uninteresting. They dismiss it at once. But the third judge, who was a chubby fellow with a big mustache, walked up to the first pudding and gave it a taste. From his reaction, it was clear that it tasted pretty bad. He tasted the vanilla pudding, however, and found it delicious. He told the other judges to give the second pudding a try. They did so. And by the end all three judges had agreed that the vanilla pudding was the clear winner. Advanced English. The country fair held a pudding contest one year. Three judges gathered. To determine the winner between the top two entrants. Determine it's a verb. It means to ascertain or establish exactly, usually due to research or calculation. Three judges gathered to determine the winner between the top two entrants. The past tense is determined. Example, in the end, they determined the better tasting pudding had one. Entrant it's a noun. It means a person or group who enters, joins, or takes part in a profession, competition, exam, university, etc. Three judges gathered to determine the winner between the top two entrants. One was a perfectly formed milk pudding, golden in the middle with a caramel colored top. The other was a simple vanilla pudding lightly swirled around a small glass bowl. Two of the judges were completely taken by the milk pudding. Look at the color and richness, they gushed. It's an ideal pudding. The vanilla pudding, however, they dismissed with a wave of their hands. Boring, they called it. Dismiss it's a verb. It means to decide that something or someone is not important and not worth considering. The vanilla pudding looks boring to them. They dismiss it. The past tense is dismissed. Example, they dismissed it as too boring to win. But the third judge, who was a portly fellow with a bushy moustache, walked up to the first pudding and plunged in a finger. He pulled it back out and tasted the pudding. In a moment, he grimaced as if he had been hit. Grimace it's a verb. It means to make an expression of disgust or pain. We saw him. Grimace as he ate the pudding. The past tense is grimaced. In a moment, he grimaced as if he had been hit. Grimace can also be a noun meaning the expression of disgust or pain on someone's face. Example, I could see by his grimace that he was hurt. He repeated the same act with the boring-looking vanilla pudding, then proceeded to pick up a spoon and eat up every bit of it. You need to try this, he told the other two judges. And after they had tried both puddings, all three judges agreed that the boring old vanilla pudding was absolutely the winner of the fair. Moral. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. The real value, quality, or truth of something can be judged only from practical experience or results and not from appearance or theory. Just saying that the proof is in the pudding. Have that proof's in the pudding, you know, evidence. So the joke's on you. Well, the proof is in the pudding. Before proceeding further, let me share something truly exciting with you all. I'm thrilled to introduce you to our live English practice sessions. Join us every Monday to Friday for a dynamic two-hour session filled with fun, laughter, and plenty of learning. So, why should you join us, you ask? Well, imagine being able to express yourself with ease, charm, and confidence in any situation.
Yep, that's the kind of fluency we're here to help you achieve. Our sessions are designed to make learning feel like a breeze, with interactive activities, engaging discussions, and a supportive community cheering you on. And here's the kicker, mastering English opens up a world of possibilities. Picture yourself acing that job interview, wowing your colleagues with your presentation skills, or effortlessly making new friends from all corners of the globe. With English in your toolkit, the sky's the limit. So, what are you waiting for? It's time to level up your language skills and join us in our live English practice sessions. Whether you're a beginner or looking to polish your skills, there's a spot for you in our vibrant community. Get ready to speak English like a pro. Join our live English practice sessions on WhatsApp. How to join? Simply reach out to us on WhatsApp at 897-974-9087 to sign up for our sessions. Our friendly team will guide you through the registration process and provide you with all the details you need to get started. Don't miss out on this fantastic opportunity to enhance your English skills. Contact us on WhatsApp today and take the first step towards becoming a confident English speaker. Thank you very much for being with me on this lesson. If you like the video, then please do press the like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our new videos. Continue learning English with me on Superior English. I will see you soon with another lesson. Till then, keep learning English. Bye.